A restrictive practice is any kind of help or action that limits the freedom or rights of a person with a disability. Restrictive practices are action taken to keep people safe when someone with a disability is showing challenging behaviour. If necessary, the practices should follow these guidelines. Used as a last resort to prevent harm, least restrictive option to ensure safety for everyone involved. Reduce the risk of harm for the person and others proportional to the level of risk involved and used for the shortest possible time to ensure safety. There are five types of regulated actions that may limit a person's rights or freedoms of movement and can be used in specific situations. 1. Seclusion Seclusion means putting someone in a room or area where they can't leave or they think they can't leave. But it's important to note that seclusion doesn't include someone who wants to be alone in their room and can come out whenever they want. It also does not include someone who locks their door for privacy, as long as they can unlock it and leave when they choose to. 2. Chemical restraint. Chemical restraint is using medicine or chemicals to control someone's behaviour or movement. This doesn't include taking medicine prescribed by a doctor to treat a mental or physical condition. 3. Physical restraint. Physical restraint refers to using physical force to limit or control a person's movement in order to modify their behaviour. Examples of physical restraint include holding a person's body to prevent a behaviour, such as holding their hand to stop them from pulling their hair, or guiding a person to move in a specific direction. However, it does not include providing physical assistance to help a person complete their daily living activities safely, such as helping them dress or brush their teeth. Four. Mechanical restraint. Mechanical restraint means using a device to stop a person from moving to limit their movement or control their behavior. This does not include devices used for medical treatment. Five, environmental restraint. Environmental restraint means limiting a person's ability to move freely in their surroundings or access certain things or activities. This can include things like locking doors or cupboards that a person cannot open. Some forms of restrictive practice can be very harmful and should never be used. These are called prohibited practices and include physical restraints like holding a person down as well as punishments that involve denying someone's needs or access to their culture. These practices can cause harm and even death. It is important to use the least restrictive method possible and only when necessary to keep everyone safe. Visit our website for more information on restrictive practices.